Life in prison for stealing candy. Well, of course, there's more to it than just that. But this Pontiac man is in jail facing felony breaking and entering and larceny charges in Bloomfield Township. Local force Jason Colthorpe explains why this candy caper could lead to 25 to life behind bars. Police say he was hitting these office buildings early Saturday mornings and clearly he was looking for a payday, but he also had a sweet tooth and it has the office staff there now snickering a little bit because they like most are thinking anyone who would risk life in prison for a little change and some candy got to be a little cray cray. The target this office building on Telegraph. Not exactly a thief's paradise. Why? There's nothing down here. It's a good question to Amy Kestelud asks, who's an office manager here. When a coworker was convinced a bank bag with $50 was taken, she investigated. I went and looked at, started looking at the cameras, not expecting to find anything, and all of a sudden I saw some guy at our glass door and could not believe it. Police say it was 51-year-old Bonnie Williams rifling through drawers and snatching the bank bag here on April 22nd. And he wanted more than money. But apparently he was hungry because he went into our vending machine. The vending machine that he spotted through this door. Now we have this on there, but he took a bar and just pried it. And was able to just wedge it right just, open. Yep, just popped it open. After getting in, he broke open the lock on the machine and grabbed 75 bucks in change. And yes, some of the candy. It was a little too casual, though, for the staff's liking. And the second time he came in, it wasn't like he was cautious or anything. He just walked right. It was like he was coming in for an appointment or something. As it turns out, under Michigan's four strikes law, Williams is now facing a possible life sentence, all for about 125 bucks and some candy bars. I hope a Snickers is worth it. And Nutter Butters. Don't forget those. And M&Ms as well. Now, police say he had also hit some other office buildings and even got one for $1,600. How he got caught here was he kept coming back two times, and each time security had been upgraded. The last time, two weeks ago, by that time, police knew his vehicle and him, and a surveillance unit caught up and made the arrest. I'm Jason Coulter, Local 4.